Hey, what's up, everybody? Gonna do, uh, well, I won't say it's a classic rock reaction. It is by John Paul Jones. Yes, he's a classic rock artist from Led Zeppelin fame. But uh, this is his solo stuff. This is his solo works post Led Zeppelin. So my understanding is that his style has changed a little bit. Still rock based, but uh, more fusion, um, including jazz, blues, uh, contemporary, and all different manner of uh, music. So it's got a little trace of rock in it. So let's just say that this is an artist of the month feature being John Paul Jones. And what I'm going to be doing with his uh, post Zeppelin stuff, just so you know, is posting it on both platforms, both the classic rock platform and the beyond classic platform. OK, uh, there's a number of um, people from each platform that don't migrate. I've under uh, come to learn. So uh, it's uh, exposure for uh, John Paul Jones on both platforms. OK, so uh, the album is Zuma and I believe it to be his first Yes, it's his uh, first uh, solo album, and uh, looking forward to it, man. I'm hearing good things about it. So, first off, I want to give a shout out and a thanks to Henrietta Skolnick. Sorry, Henrietta Skolnick. Sorry about that, Henrietta. Yeah, man. So, thank you very much. Uh, Henrietta sent me a number of things, and she has been probably, uh, hmm. No, probably the staunchest Led Zeppelin fan on my uh, platforms, both my um, uh, Patreon platform and also um, this particular platform. So shout out to you, Henrietta. She's been with me for quite a while, too. So, man, let's do this. Um, we'll do the album first, and then uh, we'll do a little read on uh, the album in the back end. And there's a, a decently long... Um, review here from uh, All Music, so looking forward to it. They've always got some interesting things to say. Maybe we'll check out what some of the fan base has to say as well. Alright, without further ado, John Paul Jones, Solo Works, Zuma. Let's get it. Cheers. Oh, my computer volume is down, that's why. There we go. And this is Zuma. showcasing his mastery here. He's beating up on that poor bass. The 
this could easily be a Led Zeppelin project, couldn't it? Gives me vibes of uh, four sticks. said, man, gotta make sure that the thunder is still in it. That was awesome. Great start. I, uh, I'm not sure if it's an all instrumental. That was awesome. Ryan.
I love that grungy tone the bass is carrying. Makes me visualize some sort of a rebellious, uh, I don't know, biker gang movie, something like that. person uh, do something illegal. track holy cow i remember listening to lala once and saying that led zeppelin could be successful just with instrumentals
Sounds like it belongs on Led Zeppelin 3. down here almost, uh, I'm sure, plays almost every instrument. Right on. I'm digging this, man.
set of dog bar. <laughs> just goes to show you this guy's value in the lineup of the signature sound, creating that signature sound for Led Zeppelin. And then he's got a funky side.
Fantastic. A bass has its uh, solo. I can't help myself. I keep thinking, well, these could make great Led Zeppelin songs. Of course, you gotta add the vocals and plan.
Honduras. So far, this album is making a serious statement now. about who it is 
Nothing. This is excellent. Fantastic, man. Holy.
ragazzo Musicianship is incredible. But it isn't just that he wants to take you on a journey. Every track has that essence. single track, just on point.
could you imagine being there? Seeing them performing this live? Seven minutes flew by so fast. All right, I've been fighting with myself to say this shit, and I said maybe I shouldn't say it. But what the hell? I'm gonna say it. Some of you are probably gonna, of course, disagree with me, and some might go beyond that and get pissed off. But I don't care. Um. This shows, without a doubt in my mind, that this guy, John Paul Jones, was just as important, just as inspirational, just as elemental, just as talented, just as much of a great creative force to Led Zeppelin than all of the others. And I would say that he's neck and neck with Jimmy Page where it comes to creativity, where it comes to arranging, where it comes to uh, all of those things. The signature sound of Led Zeppelin is completely enveloped in here. Every single piece could have been a Led Zeppelin song. You know what I'm saying? That is the um, uh, the value of John Paul Jones that's just uh, for some reason so overlooked. Not by all, but by some. And, you know, being the quiet one, being uh, the bass and the keyboard player, you know, the instruments aren't as prominent as the drums and the great vocals and a great lead guitar. Uh, that's just how it goes with uh, rock bands, per se. But damn, this album is saying to you, listen to this shit. If ever there was a doubt about my presence and my contributions and my level of importance to Led Zeppelin. Listen to this, right? Now, I'm not saying that that's exactly what he intended, but, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if that was a part of his motivation in creating it. But at the same time, too, in the end, I really believe that it's just about him being who he is, being uh, that damn good. You know, and I've uh, said it so many times that Led Zeppelin would have had a very successful career just being an instrumental band. And I was just saying that just based on my exposure to Lala alone. And of course, some of their other stuff that they've done some great instrumentals on. But damn, man, this was the shit, let me tell you. So, what else can I say about it? I can say a lot more, but let's not. Uh, I'm going to... Um, Go to the link here, Henrietta Sent, Henrietta Sent, and I'm going to uh, read what a lot of, probably a whole bunch of you are probably in these comments. I'm going to read what you've got to say. This is excellent. I've never heard anything like it before. This is not an album for Led Zeppelin fanboys who only want to hear leftover Jimmy Page riffs. As a 30 plus year musician, I'm astounded by the sheer creativity captured on this album. All that needs to be said, really, was summed up by my cousin, who was also a bass player, who said, upon hearing it, it's clear who was the core Zeppelin. I'm reminded of something I saw in some Led Zeppelin documentary about John Paul Jones 
trying to teach the rest of Led Zeppelin to groove the Black Dog and how Jimmy Page just couldn't get. He eventually did, of course. But simply put, most non-musicians don't know how crucial John Paul Jones was to what we think of as Led Zeppelin. Damn. Do you hear that shit? Let me say it again. Let me uh, repeat that. Simply put, most non-musicians, that's me, don't know how crucial John Paul Jones was to what we think of as Led Zeppelin. And that's also a lot of you, right? Um, not you, the real Led Zeppelin fans. And you know what I coin as being real. What's the old saying? Singers get all the girls. Guitarists get all the glory. And bass players and drummers get all the work. <laughs> yeah, that was John Paul Jones and Led Zeppelin. The backbone of everything. It's all right there in this album. Absolutely. I couldn't have said it better myself, man. I was trying to say it this well, but uh, I was... Uh, tripping and stumbling a little bit, but yo, brother man, who the hell are you? Wacasta Lovelace. He's looking like a young Leonard Cohen wear, wearing one of those uh, John Bonham Bolo hats. He's got the goatee on. He's definitely a musician. <laughs> um, and lots of thumbs up and lots of um, replies to that. But I won't read them all. I'll just keep going. But yeah, man, he said it perfectly. This has proved positive that artistically, John Paul Jones was the only member of Zeppelin that had any legs. He's not rehashing old material. He's carving out his own career. He's not the showman that Page and Plant were, but he's a superior musician. John Paul Jones' bass on this album has a bottom end, which is 10 times the power of what was on the Led Zeppelin albums. I can understand his point of view there because you gotta have to share a little bit, you know what I mean? The weave in and out. This album shows once and for all exactly what John Paul Jones brought to the table in Let's Up. In. Right on, that's what I said. No doubt, after listening to this recording, John Paul Jones is the best bass player ever, period. And lots of thumbs up there. Absolutely, Zep Secret Weapon. And wow, how did I miss this album coming out 20 years ago? Killer sound on the, on the title track. On all of them, man. Uh, let's read one more. Led Zepp was and still is an amazing band. I saw them in 77 at the Capitol Center in Landover, Maryland. John Paul Jones was amazing then and is amazing today. Seeing him be the anchor to that band was amazing. I just discovered this album. Did not know he had work had solo work out there. Guess who's buying CDs tonight? Fantastic, man. The glue of Led Zeppelin, the silent assassin, and all of those different things that we uh, use to describe the man. Fantastic piece of work here. And uh, I didn't miss the vocals. I didn't. I enjoyed the hell out of it. And like I said, the next time I have um, uh, a, a gathering of friends or whatnot, I'm definitely going to play this as background. And I ain't going to say nothing about who it is, right? Eventually, they'll all be like, oh, damn, man, who's this? Who's this? You can't deny the thunder. You can't deny the riffs. You can't deny the sheer uh, excellence of the musicianship. Whether you're brought up classic rock, R&B, hip hop, soul, rap, whatever it is, everybody is going to be fascinated with the great sounds of this album, I am sure. So let's do an actual uh, little read here on uh, Zuma. Zuma is a 1999 instrumental rock album by John Paul Jones, best known as the bassist and keyboardist of Led Zeppelin. It's Jones' first solo album. And a Zuma review by Stephen Thomas Erlewine of All Music. And it's a lengthy one, it's three paragraphs, man. John Paul Jones stayed quiet for years after the disbandment of Led Zeppelin, performing the occasional arranging soundtrack or production gig or collaborating with such avant-garde musicians as Diamanda Gallus. Throughout it all, he never released a full-fledged solo album until the fall of 99, when he unleashed Zuma. Anyone that was following who Jones worked with in the 90s, including Gallus, the Butthole Surfers, and R.E.M., shouldn't be entirely surprised by the depth, range, and gleeful strangeness of Zuma. But those expecting something like Led Zeppelin IV will be disappointed. Hmm. 
there's a little bit of everything there. That's not to say that there's no Zeppelin in here at all. Jones was a key member of Zeppelin, contributing heavy to their sonic majesty and experimental bent, all things that were apparent throughout the album. <clears throat> the difference is, Jones frees himself and his collaborators, including Paul Leary and members of the London Symphony Orchestra, to push the envelope hard by making Zuma an instrumental effort. Freed from the boundaries of songs, but not compositions, Jones crafts a series of nine truly impressive songs, blending together blues, world beat, heavy rock, jazz, and the avant-garde into a distinctive, unpredictable, and original sound. It may have been a long wait to receive the first solo album from Jones, but the end result makes it all worthwhile. Absolutely. What do you think? Do you agree? I agree. Fantastic, man. Fantastic piece of work. And again, <clears throat> he may not have uh, intended it to be a statement, a statement to say, hey, take a look at this, listen to this shit, this is me, and this is my contribution to the, to the Led Zeppelin sound. I mean, where are we? So they received their uh, Hall of Fame honors, I believe it was in 95. And from that little uh, uh, smack upside the head that he gave them, you know, uh, thanks for remembering my phone number, something like that. I don't know what uh, might have came about after that. They might have said, yeah, yeah, we deserve that. Or they might have been a little bit butthurt, not sure. But um, just a couple of years later, he comes out with this and it's an exclamation point. I think it's just putting a, a hat on and saying, yo, check this shit out, man. This is my value. You know, uh, I don't think, I don't know if he's intended it, but it makes that statement. It makes that confirmation to people like myself, to everybody else. You know, if anyone who's um, paying any attention to the Led Zeppelin thing, they'd be like, damn, yo, Jones really came out. And he didn't even have to bring in vocals or anything like that. He's making a statement just based on the signature sound alone, right? And of course, he added a whole bunch of uh, other awesome pieces of fusion in there. And like I said, that is going to cross over and appeal to everybody. If you don't like this album, you have not been raised right. All right. So with that said, y'all, I'm going to bounce. This was excellent. I'm looking forward to the next uh, John Paul Jones installment. And that's going to be coming up in a day or so. So hope you like this. Let me know what you think about this. And uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm having a really good time with uh, Artist of the Month. I'm certainly not going to do any more Artist of the Month. Well, I won't say never, but it just takes a tremendous amount of my time, which I just don't have. So uh, I can say that I probably won't be doing another Artist of the Month for a very long time, you know, until maybe something frees up time-wise or whatnot, lifestyle, I don't know, but uh, I can't see it. So... Uh, but I was really inspired to uh, to do this. You know, it was just good timing. Uh, the holidays had a little extended holiday time and all of that sort of thing. So it was perfect. And I, I was just about to get going into um, the John Paul Jones uh, stuff anyway. You know, uh, hit, up, hit up a little bit of plant. Still got more plant to do. And I, uh, of course, hit up a lot of Jimmy. But um, yeah... Jonesy was like the last one that I really had to look into. So I'm glad that I had this hallowed time, you know, of the month of January to uh, get it all in. Anyways, uh, I'm looking forward to the next one. Have a good one. Take care. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.